Somewhat lost in the noise of political battle on the threshold of the national election, SpaceX's Polaris Dawn mission has made a giant leap for mankind. It's not just about cutting-edge technologies that will shape the future of commercial spaceflight, but also the promise of a new record for reusability on the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft. That's what an astronaut revealed after the historic spaceflight. Find out everything in today's Tech Map episode. But before we begin, let's subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest space news. SpaceX, as we all know, had an extraordinary three quarters of 2024, characterized by record-breaking achievements. So far, the company has launched Falcon 9's 90th mission. In addition, it has launched a Falcon Heavy rocket and two starships, bringing the total number of launches to 93. Meanwhile, last year's record is 98 launches, including 91 launches of Falcon 9 rockets, five Falcon Heavy launches, and two starship test flights. This year, SpaceX aims at 148 launches, but that goal is significantly constrained by the regulators, typically the FAA. However, despite the unreasonable fines and delays, SpaceX is still soaring ahead and making its enemies bow in admiration. It's exactly what SpaceX has done with its five-day Polaris Dawn mission. The mission was notable for its numerous history-making activities, including the first commercial spacewalk, the first test of SpaceX's brand new EVA suit, and climbing higher over Earth than any previous human spaceflight since the last Apollo astronauts left for the moon in 1970. On September 15th, the Crew Dragon Resilience carrying four astronauts returned to Earth by splashing down in the Gulf of Mexico. Three days later, the capsule is back at Cape Canaveral on the recovery vessel Shannon. Under the view of the camera, Resilience looks like a marshmallow being toasted to perfection. According to Jared Isaacman, Polaris's commander, there will be no need for much touch-up on the vehicle ahead of the neck go. That was our spaceship, Crew Dragon Resilience. It looks like she could use a bit of a touch-up before the next go. We have so much appreciation for the mission control and recovery team that brought us back safely. One of the maintenance requirements is to strip and reapply the back shell, which is made of an ablative material before subsequent flights. This process is essential to ensure the spacecraft's safety and performance during future missions. One of the most important parts of any spacecraft is the thermal protection system, with the heat shield being the primary component. The heat shield protects spacecraft from the immense destructive power of atmospheric reentry. An ablative heat shield, as as SpaceX uses on Dragon's primary heat shield, works by heating part of the material itself into gas and burning away, thus moving the heat buildup away from the capsule. By comparison, a thermal soak heat shield, as was used on the Space Shuttle, is designed to absorb the heat and radiate it without the material burning away. The thickness of the Dragon capsule's heat shield allows it to act partially as a thermal soak, but the outer layer will still ablate, reducing the heat shield thickness. It explains why the SpaceX crew Dragon capsule looks bad burned from re-entry. In the future, the vehicle will prove itself worthy of more flights, possibly many more as NASA and SpaceX look to extend the lifespan of Crew Dragon spacecraft from 5 to 15 flights. This initiative is part of an extended certification process that will involve rigorous testing of all components of the spacecraft. NASA officials have indicated that a requalification campaign will be conducted to assess whether the spacecraft can safely complete additional flight. This process will involve evaluating components that have been exposed to the space environment over time. SpaceX is currently performing qualification tests of every single component on the Dragon spacecraft in order to determine how many flights the spacecraft might be capable of making. Among a fleet of four Dragons, Endeavour has flown the most, which completed its fifth flight during the Crew-8 mission, marking the limit for current operational capability. Fresh of Crew-8, NASA and SpaceX plan to analyze various components of the spacecraft that have been exposed to the space environment up and down for many years. Even though many of the smaller components on the Crew Dragon spacecraft have been replaced, the primary structures of the capsule, the weldment, radial bulkheads, and pressure shell, remain original. The demand for extending Dragon's lifespan has raised since SpaceX ended production of new Crew Dragon astronaut capsules in 2022. Capping the fleet at four Crew Dragons adds more urgency to the development of the astronaut capsule's eventual successor, Starship. It poses new challenges as the company learns how to maintain a fleet and quickly fix unexpected problems without holding up a busy schedule of astronaut missions. There's lifetime cycle issues, where once you start using it the third, fourth, fifth time, you start finding different things, said retired NASA astronaut and former SpaceX executive Garrett Reisman, who now consults for the company on human spaceflight matters. SpaceX is really good about identifying these issues quickly and then acting quickly to fix them, Reisman added, pointing to an investigation in 20 
2021 in which SpaceX discovered and fixed within months a toilet leak aboard a Crew Dragon capsule that had flown humans twice. SpaceX's ability to successfully reuse Dragon and even push it to its limit has been proven by what they did on C-207 Resilience, which has already served Polaris Dawn. The spacecraft is well known for its history of successful missions, with three flights. When mentioning C-207, can't help but mention its historic maiden flight on November 16, 2020, which marks the first of six NASA-certified commercial system flights, including significant missions to the International Space Station, ISS, and private space flights. It's also the first NASA-certified private spacecraft successfully docked with the International Space Station. The previous successful launch on May 30th, 30th, 2020, was the Demo-2 test flight with the Dragon spacecraft named Endeavour. On September 16, 2021, resilience continued to reach a higher level with Inspiration-4, the first fully private and all-civilian orbital mission. Following Inspiration-4, we have Polaris Dawn, which is famous for many first things. From the beginning, the flight marked the first time that SpaceX saw two of its own employees launch on its spacecraft. Gillis and Menon are lead space operation engineers at the company, the earlier overseeing astronaut training and the latter serving in mission control. In addition to being a mission specialist, Menon also took on the role of the crew's medical officer. Less than 24 hours after reaching their preliminary orbit, the crew achieved their first goal, climbing higher over Earth than any previous human spaceflight since the last Apollo astronauts left for the moon in 1972. In reaching 1,408.1 kilometers, the Polaris Dawn crew broke the 58-year-old record set by NASA's Gemini 11 crew by 35 kilometers. Gillis and Menon also shared a new record for the farthest distance traveled away from Earth by a woman. The mission's second day witnessed the Polaris Dawn astronauts contribute to a new record for the most humans in Earth orbit at the same time. Together with their four-member contingent, the three crewmates aboard a newly launched Russian Soyuz, three Taikonauts on China's space station, and the nine astronauts and cosmonauts on the International Space Station totaled 19 people off the planet. In this way, Petit, Gillis, and Menon became the 618th, 619th, and 620th people to orbit Earth and the 705th through 707th people to fly into space. Meanwhile, Isaac Mann was the 568th in orbit and 588th in space when he launched on Inspiration 4. Simultaneously, these rookies were SpaceX's 50th, 51st, and 52nd astronauts to fly on Dragon. On the mission's third day, Isaac Mann, Poteet, Gillis, and Menon became the first four people to be exposed to the vacuum of space at the same time when the Dragon was depressurized in preparation for the world's first commercial spacewalk. Isaac Mann and Gillis later performed SpaceX's brand new EVA suit for the first time. Or we cannot forget the first violin performance in space, performed by SpaceX's engineer, Sarah Gillis, via SpaceX's Starlink satellite network. Gillis Gillis played Ray's theme from Star Wars The Force Awakens, as composed by John Williams. Once transmitted to Earth, Gillis's solo was mixed with various recorded orchestral performances to produce Harmony of Resilience. Additionally, the crew conducted 36 experiments from 31 partners, including NASA, Johns Hopkins University, and the United States Air Force Academy. Polaris Dawn is the first mission in the Polaris program that will demonstrate new technologies, conduct extensive research, and ultimately culminate in the first flight of SpaceX's Starship with humans on board. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.